Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Easy Food Series. In the previous video we got a random meal using retrofit and we used a glide to show that random meal in the image view. But we wrote our code in the home fragment as you can see. That's how it looks like. And we still have many retrofit calls like this to work in the home fragment. So our code will get very very messy in the home fragment if we keep coding in that way. So here the solution comes with view model and live data. So view model will separate the logic code from views. Also view model will save the state of our app in case the screen configuration changes. So now let's get started. First of all as we used to we are going to add the dependencies we are going to use. So scroll down to so scroll down to the bottom of your build gradle file and paste these dependencies. I will leave them in the description. And these dependencies for a view model. So I'm gonna create a comment here and write view model. And there is a variable here. So this variable is like that. Also, you will find it in the description. After that, click on sync now. Now we need to create a package for review model. So go to your Java package and right click on it now new and go to package then name it view model then select that package and create a class inside that package kotlin class and this is going to be home view model now this class is going to inherit from view model class view model and make sure it's from android x Now what we want to do is simply create a function to get the random meal. So here function get random meal. No parameters and open curly brackets. Now go to your home fragment and take all of this code we wrote and cut it. Then go to your home view model and paste it inside here. But we need to make some changes. First thing, we said that the view model is only gonna contain the the logic code. So we're gonna remove glide code from here. Also, we want to remove glide package from here. We don't need it. And in here, on the top of your class, we're gonna create a private Latinet variable random meal live data. And this is going to be a mutable live data. In this immutable live data, we are going to have the random meal. We are going to have the random meal. And the random meal is in a meal class. So the generic is going to take a meal. And close this. Oh my bad. I don't know why I used Latin it in here. I'm going to remove it. Now in our function get random meal, we have retrofit call. And we have onResponse method. We said that onResponse method means that we connect it to our API. And then we checked if the body does not equal null. That means we actually have a random meal. Then we got our random meal in this variable. So now what we want to do, we want to put this random meal inside this random meal live data. And we will listen to this variable from our home fragment. So whenever this live data changes, the method in here will get executed. We're gonna create it later in this video. Okay, now get back to home view model. And here, as we said, we're gonna put this random meal inside this random meal live data. So random meal live data dot value is gonna equal the random meal. That's cool. And now we need one more function in this view model, which is the function that's gonna help us to listen to this random meal live data in the home fragment. So this function is going to be like that. It's going to be a public function. The name of this function is observe random meal live data. Observe means that I wanna listen to this live data. And this is going to return a live data. And the live data has a meal. 
Now open this and return this random meal live data. The difference between live data and the mutable live data is that the mutable live data you can you can change its value. You you have this you have this function to change its value, but the live data you only can read its data. So that's the difference. And we don't want to change this mutable live data from the outside of this class. So that's we use private for this mutable live data and we return it in another function as a live data. So no one can change this live data from the outside. Now go back to your home fragment and first of all we want to have an instance from this view model. So to have an instance from view model, first of all let's write it on the top of the class, private letting it home mvvm and this is a home view model. Now in onicreate I'm gonna initialize it. Uh, home mvvm will e will equal view model providers. There is a provider and there is providers. We want providers. Then off you give it the, the fragment. The fragment here is this and then dot get and here you will pass the home view model class. So home view model java.class but there is another way to do that in Kotlin so you open these brackets and here you pass the home view model class like that now we're gonna use this instance in on a view created so now I want to use this instance to get the random meal so here I'm gonna write a function this function is observe random meal this function is not gonna take any parameters then you click on alt and enter and create this function now in this function i'm gonna listen to the random meal live data so in here home mvvm dot observe random meal dot observe and the observe method will take the life cycle owner which is view life cycle owner also it takes observer object so object observer make sure it's from android x lifecycle and this observer will give us a meal and now open curly brackets and we need to implement one method which is onChange method because we said we are gonna listen to that random meal live data variable and whenever it changes then this method will get executed now in this method we will use glide dot with the view is this at home fragment now dot load now as you can see on change method will give you the meal the meal here is in this variable t and this variable has the url link of our image so t dot str meal thumb but here add this for non null and dot into now you give it the image view the image view is binding dot image random meal and that's all now let's test our app okay so as you can see everything works fine and as it was working before we created the view model so every time we click on home we're supposed to get a random meal as you can see so guys that was everything about this video and in the next video we will deal with the click on this random meal so thank you for watching and see you in the next video